All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's finish this out. Let's go ahead and finish out day 72 of Autodesk Fusion, and let's finish up building our trammel. So what we got here so far is we have our trammel, we've got the base, we got the slides, the joints on the slides are correct. We have to now do the joint for this crank arm and the sliders. So we're gonna click on joint, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and join, I'm gonna make this crank arm here inactive. Uh, actually, we need to do the crank arm first. So crank arm, let's do, let's make those slides inactive. And let's make sure we're picking the right part of this crank arm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over until I see that we're using the inside circle of that crank arm. And we want to cover the outside circle of that peg. So that motion is going to be a revolute. And you might have to figure out what axis you're gonna be in. It looks like Z axis for us. Okay. Now I do need to fix that position just a little bit. So actually we're gonna raise this just a hair and then click okay. All right, so this revolute command is done for this one. Let's go ahead and make our other slide active. Actually, we're gonna need to make that inactive for a moment because we're going to do our joint constraint. So we're going to do joint constraint, all right, clicking on the center of. So let's not have to do that position. So if you're hovering over a face of an object, but you want it to be kind of inside that object, if you notice I try to move downwards, it won't let me select. So we have to hit, hold down control on your keyboard. It'll lock that position in place of what you're selecting. And then you get to select from that point which part of this hole do we actually want? So we want that middle right there. Okay. Click on make slide two active, make component, make the crank arm inactive. And that looks okay. We'll see what that motion looks like. And we look like we are good to go. So if I go down and click on joint drop down menu, innovate one of my Revolute models. And ladies and gentlemen, we have made our trammel from top down and we're looking good. If we're gonna do a couple of things, let's go ahead and clean it up while we're at it. Let's go ahead and let's call this last component crank arm, or you can call it handle, whatever you're looking for. And I'm gonna fillet everything. So I'm gonna highlight everything, click on fillet, give it a 0 0.05 fillet radius. It just rounds things off and makes it a little bit nicer and let's go ahead and do some of our appearance library. So I'm gonna click A on my keyboard. Let's make our handle out of, let's do MDF. Let's try that again. There it is, it's right down here. There we go. Let's go ahead and make our handle out of MDF. Let's make our slide pieces. Let's find something that's, uh, let's do yellow. Let's do one and let's take our base. Let's find a nice cherry wood. All righty. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished our trammel. Let's go ahead, just for last sake, let's go ahead and do a nice little revolute command. Show our model out where we finished our trammel to look like a nice finished product. Okay guys, if you have any questions about the trammel and how to make them in any of those pieces, what it looks like, feel free to shoot me a comment, concern, question, whatever you want, as long as it doesn't hurt when you throw it my way. And I would love to help you out for the next thing. And I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya.